Hi there, so I have this little Logic Pro X project. I'm not really sure what type of genre it is, but I I think I it's a techno synth wave-ish kind of little track. I'm using my Moog synthesizer here, so I have recorded some audio in it, and I'm going to show you a preview right now. You will be able to download the project. Uh, the link is in the description below this uh, video. So if you just want to go straight to the download, you can do that. But make sure to read the text under there because I'm using some uh, commercial synthesizers and so you know uh, what you need to have to open up the project. We can, uh, I can give you a little preview here. So uh, we'll just play it back here and just skip uh, to some parts in the track. It's just a simple little track. Yeah, so uh, it's just a simple little track, simple little EDM type of track, and uh, it's uh, based out of a uh, few instruments here, and some effects as well, of course. And um, I'm going to go through each and every one of here and just show you how it's set up, and uh, so so you know what you get before you eventually go and download it. And not every instrument in this track is a stock plugin from Logic Pro. I want to use some of my plugins I like, uh, for example, Diva. But uh, for the drum kit, I uh, when I started this track, I had a regular kick from some sample pack, but uh, I uh, changed uh, the uh, drum kit to the included drum kit in Ableton. No, <laughs> sorry, in Logic. So I'm just using uh, this drum kit that comes with Logic, so if you use this project you will be able to open it uh, as well. So uh, that's how we start off. And then I have some uh, percussion here, and this is also from Logic, it's called Boom Crack Chords. I'm not really sure where in Logic I found them, but uh, I have chopped them up a little bit, so... Uh, it's just uh, making a nice kind of effect here. So it sounds like that. Then we have uh, some bass. You know, we need some bass. Really simple. So the bass is being played by the instrument called Retro synth and it's just a patch classic uh, analog bass. I'm actually using a the arpeggio plugin here where I have uh, laid out the notes here. So you can just change them if you want to add more. So you can have fun. And the melody is then this uh, MIDI, just this MIDI clip here, you know. Pretty simple stuff. This synth is also uh, built into uh, Logic Pro. Then we come to the first synthesizers uh, you have to buy. This is not included in Logic Pro and this is Diva. Diva is playing this uh, drone type of sound. You can solo it. And I like this low sound here. On the Diva synthesizer I have some automation and to view the automation you just press A on your keyboard and you get this window here. And we can see here on uh, 
low drone which is diva we have to click this little arrow here and we can see that i i automate uh, the the cutoff uh, frequency on diva on this track and that's the lines you see here you can see that the button moves that's basically that's basically it then we come to an audio track which is being uh, played by this little thing I have here it's my Moog uh, synthesizer the synthesizer is not uh, of course playing this in real time in this track you don't need this synthesizer so this it's an audio file so I have recorded it and uh, I also I have some effects on it I'm going to get back to the effects So it sounds like this. So that's the MOG. And uh, the MIDI for the MOG synthesizer is on the bottom here. It's called MOG Melody MIDI, not used. So I have the MIDI notes there, just, they are just muted if you want to do something yourself do you have them there it's not really that advanced as you can see here but uh, nevertheless they are they are still there then I have another track called the pluck so this is a plucked sound and this is also being played by diva it sounds like this kind of a trans pluck After that we have something called an add-on plug. This is played by a Spire. But you can just as well replace the Spire synthesizer here with something from Alchemy or maybe um, ES1 or ES2. It's a really simple sound with just some delay and reverb on it. Actually I, yeah, delay and reverb. Yeah, it's this synthesizer. But you can easily replace this sound with a uh, uh, included uh, synthesizer in Logic Pro. And uh, then on the bottom here I have something called Moog Discarded Melody. So this was a melody I created uh, uh, when I was uh, making this track, but I I didn't really like it, but I did record it, so I thought I could just leave it in the project if you, I don't know, if you want to chop it up or something. Uh, I don't really want to use it in the track, but it does, it's there if you muted, if you if you want to use it. it. I can play it back for you. Maybe it sounds good, I don't know. Try here. Yeah, anyway, it's there. So uh, if you want it, it's there. Yeah, that's basically the instruments in this track, but we, we can take a little look at the uh, mixing as well. Again, the link is in the description below if you don't want to watch this video, but I, I can show you the mixing here because I use uh, a fair amount of uh, commercial plugins for the mixing so we can go through them first one drum kit everything here is included uh, in uh, logic pro so i don't don't have to think about that next tr track the um, percussion here nothing special here only using eq so you don't have to have any extra effects for that then we have this uh, bass track you don't need to have anything extra. I use the included EQ in Logic, the included compressor and arpeggiator. Everything is included in Logic. But then we get to the low drone. So uh, I'm using Diva, as I already mentioned. This is a commercial synthesizer 
Of course, you can replace it with, for example, Retrosynth. You can kind of create the same kind of sound with uh, Retrosynth that is included in Logic, I think. Uh, I used the e included EQ compressor and LFO tool is from uh, Xfer, from the guy that makes the uh, uh, Serum synthesizer. So this is kind of a side chain thing, but I don't really have that much hair going on, so you could just as well remove it. You don't really need it, but it might just make the track feel a little bit less punchy or more audio. So it sounds like this, and here I have uh, quite a lot of things actually going on. We have Saturn 2, so this is a saturator. Let's see how that sounds. I can turn it off. So it, uh, you don't have need to have it, but uh, I think it uh, it's nice to kind of add some harmonic to the sound. If the mog wasn't harmonic enough, yeah, I know, but uh, I think it sounds cool. Then we have a uh, delay. This is included in Logic, so everything is fine here. Then we have Supermassive. This is not included in Logic, but it's free to download. So uh, you can go on to their website and download it. EQ compressor, and then again, as I said earlier, LFO tool. Next track, this is uh, played by Diva, as I already mentioned. And then we have some MIDI effects here. MIDI effects are included in Logic. I can tell you what kind of MIDI effects I'm using. It's pretty cool. So if we go to Pluck here and we go to Random, this is some kind of velocity randomness. Just to make it a little bit more human. And by the way, I'm also doing another thing mostly on my on my MIDI notes here. I'm not sure if I did it here, but I, I usually select all notes, I go to functions, I go to MIDI transform and I go to humanize and I just select and operate and it it just adjusts it a little bit and tries to make it a little bit more human and not so robotic and and staccato. I think it works pretty well and it's not that um, in your face. It's not like you hear it, but you kind of feel it. So it's it's pretty cool. Okay, and then uh, back to um, let's see the effects on my pluck here. Uh, yeah, and then we use then I use something called scripter so and probability gate. So this is something that will skip some notes actually. So, and here you set the probability. It's kind of a randomness. So if I I can show you instead of trying to explain. So if I drag this slider to 100%, it will play the entire middle clip without changing anything. But if I drag it down, you can hear it gets quieter. It starts skipping notes. That's why I'm using it. So I set it to 95, just to give it a little bit more randomness and uh, so you don't get that much tired listening <laughs> to, the, to the loop. And this again, this is just an add-on. No, did I go through every... Yep, I went through every effect. And then we have this add-on pluck. Nothing special. You can hear it just a uh, atmosphere thing. And the add-on pluck is being played by Spire, which is a commercial synthesizer you probably maybe don't have. But again, as I said, you can replace this with um, perhaps uh, something included in Logic Air. You can use some monophonic synths, you can use ES2, for example, and uh, yeah just to play around with it, so you can just replace it. And then the two last tracks here, they are just uh, unused, and uh, they are there if you want to have fun with them. And then on the stereo out, 
we have uh, some commercial plugins as well. So this is my master fader and we can turn off everything and play it back here so you can listen to it without any on the master bus. So we have the exciter. It's included in Logic. Uh, it gives it a little top end there. Then I use the uh, saturator plugin just to give it a little bit uh, more uh, harmonics to the sound, a little bit warmth. I really like this uh, this one, but I'm not uh, have uh, the drive is not uh, that high. It's on uh, just 10 percent. Then I use. Uh, a uh, multiband compressor from FabFilter. I'm using the EDM Master Preset Part 1 of 3. So this is uh, Part 1, Part 2, Part 3 of that uh, preset. Then I have an EQ. It's included in Logic and uh, it just takes off the uh, bottom bottom end here for 34 Hz. So just to get rid of that rumble if there is any and then of course we have our limiter which is also from fab filter using the preset edm aggressive and tight and i also always use 0 0.03 uh, on the output there just to prevent any clipping if you convert the audio to mp3 so that's the track Download it in the description below. It's a link to the project file and um, have fun with it. Let me know if you make something cool and uh, maybe I will feature it on the channel. To open the project, you need to have Logic 10.7.4. So make sure you at least have that version of Logic. Let me know if you want me to make something else in Logic Pro and I might just make a video of it and a project and put it out on my channel. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video and uh, goodbye.